Metroplex, and it is literally a chamber of horrors. Tonight, we reveal the incredible secrets of extraterrestrial beings living among us, including a never-before-seen interview with a woman who claims the ability to channel an alien race. Greetings. We are the Arcturians. Join us as the secret of aliens among us is unseen. A global effort has begun. Secret files hidden from the public for decades, detailing every UFO account, are now available to the public. We are about to uncover the truth behind these classified documents and find out what the government doesn't want you to know. Unseen alien files exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Cusco, Peru. This jungle city was once capital of the Incan Empire. But it was in the late 1990s that archaeologists digging in these ruins came across an incredible discovery. Skulls, unlike any creature known to man. Their size and shape were almost a perfect match to eyewitness descriptions of alien beings. The elongated skulls that we found are not only larger in terms of cranial capacity than modern humans, but the eye sockets are much bigger, the jaw is much larger, and also the actual bone material is sometimes 60% heavier than a modern human being. But could this actually be evidence of alien beings that lived and died on planet Earth? Now, on the one hand, there's a perfectly conventional explanation for this, that um, the babies, they were strapped to a backboard in such a way that it actually deformed the skull, so the skull became elongated, and that's what we see. But uh, UFO historians say something different. In 2011, the remains were taken to a museum where local news reported the head is triangular and tremendous, almost the size of the body, and that Spanish and Russian doctors have confirmed that indeed it is an extraterrestrial. Now these alien skulls have been turning up everywhere, not just Peru, Mexico, uh, Egypt, other countries uh, in the developing world, and it seems the more we dig, the more we find. The explanation may be found within a book published in 1882, Atlantis, the Antediluvian World, by American politician Ignatius Donnelly. Now in this book, it talked about these godlike beings that inhabited this land and perhaps were the original settlement of this planet. The question is, could these gods actually be aliens? The book explains that before the island sank, its leaders left for Egypt, Mexico, and Peru to become rulers of these countries and reveals another intriguing detail, illustrations of their unique skulls. Perhaps the most well-known of these ancient leaders was Egyptian ruler King Akhenaten. He was the husband of Nefertiti and father of Tutankhamun. But could he also have been an alien king? When we look at the skull of the Egyptian pharaoh Akhenaten, we see how, how it's deformed, how it's elongated. So it's not just larger, it, it, there's almost this tubular shape in that. What could that have meant? Was Akhenaten an alien? These characteristics may have been the product of genetic deformity, but some theorists propose rulers such as Akhenaten were connected to an alien race, a theory many believe applies to the world leaders of today. There have been reports of aliens interacting with world leaders for centuries, but none so interesting as with one of our own presidents. Coming up next, find out what the president might know about aliens among us. And later, answers from an unlikely source speaking directly to alien intelligence. This is Unsealed.